Capitalize or not, the infinitives and gerunds dilemma. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the English capitalization rules, specifically focusing on a common area of confusion, infinitives and gerunds. So, if you've ever been perplexed about whether to capitalize these in your titles, stay tuned. First, let's get a quick refresher on what infinitives and gerunds are. An infinitive is the base form of a verb, usually preceded by to, for example, to run, to eat, to dance. A gerund, on the other hand, is a verb that functions as a noun, ending in ing, for example, running, eating, dancing. The general rule for capitalizing titles is that the first word, last word, and all major words, nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and subordinating conjunctions should be capitalized. On the other hand, minor words like articles, coordinating conjunctions, and prepositions of fewer than five letters are usually written in lowercase, unless they're the first or last word in the title. Now, let's address the central issue. Should you capitalize infinitives and gerunds in titles? Infinitives and gerunds are forms of verbs. So, following the general rule, they should be capitalized in titles. However, the to of an infinitive is considered a preposition, so it's typically not capitalized unless it's the first or last word of the title. For example, learning to play the guitar, the verb play is capitalized, but to is not. Running is my favorite activity. The gerund running is capitalized as it's the first word in the sentence. One common mistake is capitalizing the to in an infinitive. Remember, the to is not typically capitalized unless it's the first or last word. Another common mistake is not capitalizing gerunds. As these are verb forms and often function as nouns, they should be capitalized in titles. And that's a wrap on capitalizing infinitives and gerunds in titles. Remember, when in doubt, consider the general rules and the specific rules for infinitives and gerunds. With a little practice, you'll master this in no time. We hope this video has been helpful in clarifying the rules of capitalization for you. Until next time, keep learning and growing your English skills.